Okay, Leo, it's going to be a general reading for you guys for this upcoming week. And I am going to start off using these uh, affirmation type cards here. Okay, so for Leo, courage. That reminds me kind of of your tarot card, pretty much it's about having courage too for the Leo card. All right. And it says, life presents challenges and facing these challenges requires courage. Sometimes it is the courage to overcome fear or doubt. Other times it is the courage not to give up in the face of adversity or to stand up for what you believe is right. Courage often means letting go of the familiar and stepping out of your comfort zone, delving into and utilizing the great inner strength that you have. I have the strength to deal with any challenge today brings. I am courageous when others are afraid. This is exactly like uh, your Leo card for tarot, which is the strength card. All right. Courage. Okay, and I'm just going to use um, this deck this week. Okay, Leo. Let's see what we can get for you guys for this upcoming week, Leo. And I'm probably going to use Lenormand at the end, just to see if there's anything else we can get. Uh, if you guys like this at the end, if you... Okay, this is flipped over twice now, so I'll take it. Um, yeah, if you, if you want to give it a like, that'd be cool, the video. There goes you. I just flipped over. And there's a lot of cards that are more than usual that are, seems to keep either flipping over or something here going on. I don't know what's going on here. Like I'm feeling a little bit of a persistent type vibe right now. <laughs> like somebody or something's being persistent. Uh, okay. I hope you guys can see these cards okay from this angle with the lighting. Okay. So there are water signs. Fire, since you're here, strength is here. And air. So Leo, of course, yourself, you stand out. You show up here. But Leo stands out. And Taurus. Taurus stands out. Also, Scorpio stands out. That's the one that kept uh, popping out, wanting to come out, too, Scorpio. But, uh. All right, you guys. So, let me just look at the cards here for a second. Okay, so you start off here with the Seven of Cups. So, looks like you guys need to make a choice. Um, I don't know if it's about overanalyzing something, like, and you just need to make a choice. You know, if there's different, op or if there, like, I don't know if there's different opportunities being presented to you, or if, or, or if you have an uncertainty, you know. That's what it looks like, like some type of uncertainty of what to do. There might be, you know, like a lot on your mind right now or something, and maybe it's just hard for you to focus, but uh, it looks like you need to make a choice on something.
And just as a side note, the card can also represent addictions. So I don't know, for some of you, you know, it could be something like that going on. Next up here is a Four of Cups. And, uh, looks like the, I don't know if you feel like there's been some missed opportunities or if you're just missing the point on something. But this card says to wake up. You know, I don't know if it's distractions or if you're a little bored or something. Whatever this is, it says wake up from it. This is wake up. This is make a choice. So to me, it's wake up and make a choice. Some of you might have some fears and doubt or insecurities, but um, just looks like there might be different options. Me just have to make choose and just understand too. Sometimes stubbornness can keep you from right timing of things. So. I don't know, it just came out, so I said it, but um, it represents that, but... All right, next up, you have the the world here. You also have the wheel over here, the world and the wheel. So with the world here, this is um, success and achievements and accomplishments. It's a uh, journey's end, so it's it's uh, kind of like um, you've met your goals and established structure in your life, and now you kind of have the freedom to do whatever you want. So maybe you have to, maybe this is making a choice on, you know, what to do next with, if you have this freedom to go anywhere, to do anything, looks like you're trying to figure out something here, but it, this is a card of fulfillment and shows in your pretty good financial shape too. Next up you have death card. So this card is the one that kept wanting to pop out here or that did keep popping out and it's, this is, sorry, I'm shaking the camera. This is about endings that lead to new beginnings. So something, you know, has got to end in order for something new to begin. And so it's about renewal and transformation and uh, kind of like letting go of what no longer serves you. Clearing out the old. So it can be a change. This can also indicate, and it is actually indicating that I can feel it for a couple of you or something about you, some of you, maybe the decision that you need to make for some, okay, so not all, for some of you, this decision that's weighing in your mind that you need to make is whether to stay or leave the relationship that you're in. But with this, the world next to it saying that it's, hey, you know what, you can do what you want to do. You have freedom, meaning you can make the choice and do whatever you want to do. Just looks like just telling you to make that choice. Looks like over here things could be at a standstill or maybe you're taking that break and deciding what to do with the hangman here next. You know, but this does say too, try to look at things from a different point of view. So if you're trying to figure out something, look at it from a different point of view. Look at it from a different angle type thing. Y'all, next up you have the strength card. So this, it goes along with this courage. You have strength and courage right here. And we know that you, Leos, you guys have a lot of strength and courage, but this is just maybe reminding you, use that inner strength you have, use that courage to make this, whatever this decision is that's on your mind. It's also about, you know, patience and perseverance also. And now, <clears throat> this card can also be about forgiveness, you know, so forgiveness, whether of yourself or forgiveness, forgiveness of someone else is having enough strength to forgive somebody also. So it can also be about that. And that's, that's what your decision is about. Is it about, should I forgive them and stay? Should I not forgive them and leave? Type thing could be something to do with that. In fact, I'm getting that for pretty strongly for some of you. Sometimes, some of you might even feel like, like you're being tested. 
but I'm showing that it could be some kind of like spiritual forces at work in your life right now. Maybe testing your patience, I don't know. <laughs> it could be. Next up is the Hierophant. So, you know, there are, by the way, a lot of major arcanas which shows changes. So, upcoming week looks like changes. So, with the Hierophant, Hierophant, however you want to font say it. <laughs> but, uh, this is about, t you know, it can be about like a wise mentor or leader taking advice from somebody that you trust. And it's a card of like guidance and ethics. And for some of you, it can be a spiritual blessing coming. And it can also indicate, you know, marriage type thing, like a, a some type of show of union like that, which can be like faith or marriage for some, not for all. But it's also another card that shows compassion and mer having mercy and kindness. So mercy is forgiveness. So maybe some of you are trying to decide whether to forgive and the cards are coming out um, advising you to have courage to forgive. So if you want to, if you're wondering what to do, this is saying, try forgiveness. Next up, you have the Nine of Swords. So with this, I do show anxiety and stress. So it looks like you guys have been really stressing over this. It's been causing some anxiety and just stressing a lot over this. You guys have to try to find a way to let go and try to refocus your thoughts, which, like I say over here with the hanged man, he's saying, you know, try to look at something from a different point of view, look at it from a different angle. And this right here is saying to refocus your thoughts. So refocus your thoughts and try to look at it. Sorry if my hands are in the way. <laughs> Refocus your thoughts if you can. Try to look at something from a different point of view. Look at it from a different angle. And try forgiveness. You know, I'm sure you all know, once you, you know, forgiveness is a lot for you more than for them. So, and, okay, so I, I can go on, but I don't need to keep going on about that. Next up is the wheel here. So, this is shows a positive change, end of delays, it can be a fresh new start. Just be clear about your top priorities because uh, it, there might be some unpredictable, excuse me, unpredictable events. And some of you may feel like love is taking you for a ride. So this is more like a love reading for you guys This for this upcoming week it looks like. But this doesn't have to be over love relationship. But for a lot of you, it's going to be over a love relationship. Others, this can be over um, a work relationship. It can be over a friend relationship, you know. But uh, for a lot of you, this is about over a love relationship, looks like. All right. So at the end, I'm, this week, I'm using the Norman system. And uh, let's see if we can get any more information on this here about this decision to be made or this forgiveness or whatever this is coming through here okay okay and it is just I love using this Lenormand this week along with the tarot because it keeps confirming the tarot reading so for me when I use this Lenormand system here it brought up the snake and the cross so what this means is there was some type of betrayal that happened or some type of lies, deception, something like that happened. And now there's a lot of burdens. Like there's a lot of sorrow. There's disappointment. There's stress. There's anxiety. That's what this means. Bur like carrying stress and anxiety and, and you know, carrying that within you. And the cards are showing here. So the Lenorm Lenormand is just confirming what I was saying here. So it looks like you guys, if you can try to forgive and try to refocus your thoughts because this is not going to be good either going for your health either to, to, you know, keep worrying about this. All right, you guys. Um, if you like this, if you want to give it a like, that'd be cool. And uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would appreciate it. All right, you guys. Thanks a lot.